In this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload a bunch of listings at once to Facebook Marketplace, okay? Now, this is gonna save you time, it's gonna help you make more money, and it's really gonna take the effort out of your part because the software is gonna do 95% of the work for you, and then you just kinda of have to verify a few things and hit publish on all the listings. All right, so here we are on Amazon, and I just grabbed some, you know, like, like I think it's like 10 or 15 random listings that were suggested to me. There's no rhyme or reason to any of these listings, but I kind of just want to show you the power of being able to transfer these listings super quickly in bulk to Facebook Marketplace, okay? What used to happen is you used to have to do it manually one at a time, right? And you could still do it fast because what, what happens is you'll see this copy to Facebook button that ZDrop has. If you guys don't know what ZDrop is, it's always linked in the description down below. It's the software that I recommend. It basically moves listings one at a time, or in bulk to sites like um, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Shops, Poshmark, Mercari, uh, eBay, Etsy, and a number of other places, obviously. Um, but what you used to have to do is you used to have to do it one by one. And because you can copy to Facebook and it moves everything over, it, it, what it does is it copies the title, it copies the pictures, it copies the uh, description, and it inserts tags as well as marks your price up, right? We all know this. But the issue with that, though, is you'd have to do it one at a time but now you can copy them all in bulk and do it all in bulk, right? So what used to happen is, even if you were doing it fast, what you'd wanna do is you'd wanna say copy to Facebook and it would come over, it would copy to Facebook, and then it would slowly, as soon as the paste pops up here, You'd paste the data in there and then it would add the title, it would add the description, it would add the tags, it would add the pictures and it would mark the price up, right? And then what you do is you'd come to the next one and then you do this one as that one was pasting, right? And you could really kind of go a lot faster if you just did it in bulk like that and you then you'd end up with a bunch of like Facebook listings and you just have to kind of modify the uh, the description, modify the title a little, a little bit, edit it and make sure the price is marked up right and then you could just submit them all at once, right? But instead of doing that, what you can do now is you can just save to bulk list on ZDrop. So that this has been a game changer. It's also been a game changer teaching some of my VAs to be able to do this because it saves you a bunch of time. You no longer, even if it's only like a minute or two, right? You no longer have to sit here and click uh, copy to Facebook, wait for the paste to pop up and then click paste, wait for it to paste all the data. And instead, what you can do is you can come over and save a bunch to the bulk list and then upload them all at once. Then go about your life, right? Maybe you wanna go to sleep. Maybe you want to uh, you know, go get gas. Maybe you wanna go golf 18 holes. Maybe you wanna eat lunch, whatever it is, right? It's gonna save you time because it's gonna be doing this in the background. And then when you come back, you're gonna end up, depending on how many listings you've actually done, it could be 10, it could be 20, it could be 50, it could be 100. I don't really recommend going over 100 uh, with this specifically because it's just going to end up, it, you could run into potential issues. I have tried 100 before. I'd recommend probably keeping it around a 50 max because then you're still going to have 50 Facebook tabs up like this that you're going to want to submit all at once, right? And so that's still going to take you a little bit of time, although it's going to let you do it a lot, a lot faster and save you a bunch more time than if you were doing it manually one, one uh, at a time, okay? And so what you can do is you can add them all to the bulk list right here. What I like to do before is I'll come through and I'll make sure that A, they're in stock, B, that you know the shipping time isn't crazy or the handling time isn't crazy, and a number of other things, right? So let's just go, I'll literally demonstrate you, demonstrate it, excuse me, uh, with you here, like I was gonna save them all to my bulk list and upload them all in bulk right now, okay? So this one's in stock, and again, there's no rhyme or reasons to these products. These are not good products. They're just the first products that I picked um, hopefully a couple of them hit, but I seriously doubt it because there was no rhyme or reason to how I picked these, no product research, right? So this one looks good. I'm just verifying this. This looks good price. It's in stock, no ridiculous handling time. This one, okay, so anytime with a quantity limit like this, where there's like, or not a quantity limit, where there's like uh, only a certain number in stock, I usually avoid those because I don't want to run into an issue because I don't monitor and track the prices and, and track the uh, stock because I don't really think it's it's necessary. And I've talked about that in another video. I'll drop that video, why I don't monitor stock and how I recommend that you do it as well. And it saves me a bunch of time. It saves me a bunch of money and it's not really needed. That video will be at the bottom of the description if you want to check it out, okay? So I'm going to avoid these for that reason. This one's fine. This one, again, a stock issue. This one's fine. This one's fine. Although always keep in mind, like sometimes you'll see here that if it's not prime or if it's like, 
um, you know, a long dispatch time where it takes like a week to ship out or three or four days. I usually avoid those products, especially on Facebook Marketplace. You can get away with those on Facebook shops a little bit easier, although I would still be a little bit wary about it. So this one's fine. This one's fine, 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 fine. Uh, this one is not fine because there's a stock issue and this one's fine. So basically what I would do is I'd come over and let's say you had like 25 or 50 tabs up. What you do is you'd save the bulk list, let it load. And as soon as it pops back up, it literally copied everything in data right there. You move over to the next one, save it to the bulk list, wait for it to be done, save it to the bulk list, wait for it to be done. Save it to the bulk list, wait for it to be done. And you can do, you know, 50 listings like this probably within like a minute or two realistically, right? And then what I like to do is I'll do like 20 to 50, depending on, you know, how much I, I kind of want to get done or how, how you know, long the break is that I'm about to be taking. Maybe it's a lunch break. Maybe I'm going to golf or whatever. And I'll save them all to the bulk list, right? So let's assume that I just saved 50 of them. What you want to do, and we'll create a new window here just to kind of show you, is now if you come up to Z-Drop and you go over to bulk, you'll see all of these added into your bulk list, right? Now, you're going to have more if you added a bunch more. I would recommend if you're this is the first time that you're using this, only add like five or so just to test it out. Now, what you can do as well is you come into your settings right here, and you'll see the run bulk right here. So you can run bulk to Marketplace, you can run bulk to Mercari, you can run bulk to Poshmark and a number of other places. Let's just keep it at Marketplace for right now. And then you're going to come down if you needed to change it and save your, your uh, settings right there. And then once your settings are saved, you're going to want to make sure that you've selected them all and then you're going to click run bulk. And then you can go about your life, right? You can literally go eat eat dinner, you can go watch Netflix, you can go do whatever you want to do, because it's literally going to run and upload every single one of those to Facebook Marketplace in this specific example right here, okay? And so this is a game changer because it takes that little bit of time out of the equation. It takes like that reset out of the equation when you're uploading products, whether it's you or your VA, it's going to save you time. It's going to allow you to list a bunch more products a lot faster. And in the last video specifically, I talked about, you know, how there's two main ways to get more sales on Facebook, right? It's really super simple. Check that video out if you haven't already. The two main ways to, to basically get more uh, sales on Facebook and more listing views is a do better product research. And we've talked about that in a number of ways already. Right. And B list more products, right? It's a numbers game at the end of the day, it's simple math. And so this lets you list more products with less time invested on your part and less effort, I guess as well. Right. So less time invested, less effort, but more products. Okay. I really hope that this helps. As you can see, I'm not doing anything. I'm not moving the, the mouse. It's just uploading all these products to Facebook Marketplace for me. And I could be off, you know, eating lunch. I could be off talking to you like I am now. I could be off doing something else in my business. So I really hope that this helps. This is a game changer. Utilize it. Really hope you enjoyed that video. If you're brand new to drop shipping, I recommend that you get started with Z Drop. It's a software that'll help you run and scale your entire dropshipping business for just over $10 a month. I still use it every single day in my own business and it's a no brainer, okay? It'll make your listing, customer service, order fulfillment, and a number of other things a lot faster and a lot easier, okay? Now, ultimately the quickest way to get from where you are now to a dropshipping business that's paying you consistently every month is to simply enroll in my Dropship Pro course. Both of those things are linked directly down in the description below. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and feel free to check out some of the other videos that are on this channel on e-commerce, dropshipping, and a number of other things. All right. See you in the next one.